Hey, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another Psych2Go video. Are you crushing on someone right now? Or perhaps you're wondering how to get your crush to like you or notice you. Getting your crush to like you back can be tough, especially when you're unsure whether they feel the same way. But fortunately, there are ways out of this conundrum by using body language. When it comes to dating and attracting your crush, your nonverbal communication or body language is almost as important as your verbal responses. In this video, we will be going through eight body languages that will get your crush to like you. One, smile around your crush. Turn that frown upside down. Smiling can be a great way to promote attraction because it makes a person appear friendlier and more approachable. It doesn't have to be a huge smile. A regular smile will suffice. People also generally prefer to see happy faces as it brings about a pleasant feeling. Two, have an open body language. Do you notice yourself crossing your arms or legs? If so, studies suggest that this closed body language might make you come off as defensive and less approachable. On the flip side, opening yourself up makes you appear relaxed and more approachable. An open body language includes having uncrossed legs and arms, leaning forward, and having open palms. Three, Mirror your crush. Research has shown that when an individual is attracted to another, he or she tends to mimic their body language as a response to show interest in them, which is also known as mirroring. Are you going on a date with your crush anytime soon? If so, mirroring can help you to convey a subtle message that you're interested in them. Mirroring also helps you connect to your crush as it can create a feeling of being similar to each other, which provides familiarity. Four. Maintain eye contact. Uh, just a heads up, this does not mean you engage in a staring contest. This actually means to maintain good eye contact. Being able to do so demonstrates that you're genuinely interested in what the other person has to say. It shows that you're listening. Taking a softer approach to eye contact can help you convey friendliness as compared to giving a hard stare. Five, occupy more space. Depending on the situation, Taking up more, but also an appropriate amount of space can be beneficial. Whether you're standing up or sitting down, it gives your crush the impression that you're comfortable and relaxed. It can also make you appear more confident. Careful not to overdo it though, or it may come off as being overconfident and inconsiderate. Six, express with your hands. Do you ever move your hands when your mouth is moving? Like when you're talking? That's a good body language to have when it comes to attracting your crush. Hand gestures can give your crush the impression that you're enthusiastic about what you're trying to communicate. It also helps you emphasize certain points in the conversation. It also makes you appear more comfortable when you're speaking with them. Seven, stay calm around your crush. We know it's tough to stay calm around your crush, especially when there's butterflies in your stomach, but be aware and avoid body language like nail biting, unnecessary face touching, and generally fidgeting during interactions. These body languages can tell them that you're nervous or anxious, which may make them feel uncomfortable interacting with you. Based on a 2020 study, this might also convey the message that you're not really keen on interacting and would rather be somewhere else. And lastly, having proper posture. Aside from health reasons, Practicing to have proper posture is an important aspect of body language. It can give the impression to your crush that you're confident. On the other hand, slouching may make you look unenergetic and may indicate low self-esteem. It's also physically unhealthy in the long run. It's not the words that you use, but your nonverbal cues or body language that speak the loudest. They can draw your crush towards you and build trust, or they can confuse, undermine, and offend what you're trying to convey. How many of these points did you agree with? Have you tried any of these body languages around your crush? Or perhaps, are you looking to improve your body language around them? If so, how do you plan to do so? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to Psych2Go for more psychology content. Don't forget to share this video with someone who could benefit from it. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.